everyone my name is Satya Prakash Singh welcome to ATP STEM in this video we are going to talk about how to find eccentricity of an ellipse using a short and simple trick let's look at the trick if you want to find eccentricity of an ellipse ax square plus by square plus cx plus dy plus e equal to 0 then you just need to know two formula the formulas are here if coefficient of x square is more than coefficient of y square then eccentricity will be root of 1 minus coefficient of y square over coefficient of x square if coefficient of y square is more than coefficient of x square then eccentricity will be root of 1 minus coefficient of x square over coefficient of y square remember whatever the coefficient is more that will be in denominator here coefficient of x square is more that is in denominator coefficient of y square is more that is in denominator let's look at some example the equation of the ellipse is given to be x square plus 4y square plus 2x plus 16y plus 13 equal to 0 we have to find eccentricity of this equation the proper method is given here if you are going to apply the proper method it might take 1 to 2 minutes but let's solve this question using this short tricks now the idea is x square coefficient is 1 y square coefficient is 4 which coefficient is more absolutely y square coefficient is more then eccentricity will be root of 1 minus coefficient of y square is more that will be in denominator and coefficient of x square will be in numerator so answer will be root of 3 by 2 option c that's all that will be the answer let's look at another example we have to find eccentricity of an ellipse whose equation is 9x square plus 5y square minus 30y equal to 0. If you are going to apply the formula, eccentricity will be e equal to root of 1 minus. Quickly tell me which coefficient is more, x square or y square? Tell me quickly. Yes, x square coefficient is more, that will be in denominator. And coefficient of y square is 5, that will be in numerator. So answer will be 2 by 3. Option B, that's all. The trick is to sort and simple you can find eccentricity of any ellipse within 10 seconds. After these two questions, I would request all of you to please solve these two practice questions and comment your answer in the comment section. For more such short trick videos, please like and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you so much.